Hey guys, welcome back to Fantasy Tip. My name is Julian, and this is the final episode of my preseason content. The last episode of a series of episodes talking about each individual NHL team, talking about their lines, talking about their no worthy players, and whether I think you should consider drafting them. We've been doing it in alphabetical order, and we've finally gotten to the final team, the Winnipeg Jets. Before we get into it, though, guys, please leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. More than 50% of you guys that watch these videos are not subscribed, so definitely hit that button. It would mean the world to me. I'm trying to get to 5,000 subscribers this year, so definitely, definitely hit that subscribe button if you have been watching my videos and if you've been enjoying them. Let's get into it, guys, and let's jump right into the Winnipeg Jets lines. And on the top line, we have Kyle Connor, Mark Scheifele, and Nikolai Ehlers, definitely set to be a super dangerous line this year. On the second line, Cole Perfetti, Pierre-Luc Dubois, and Blake Wheeler. And on the third line, Jesse Harkins, Adam Lowry, and Mason Appleton. Let's jump into the noteworthy players, and first on the list is Kyle Connor, who had 93 points last year and finishes the 25th best fantasy player in terms of fantasy points per game, I have him ranked as the 21st best fantasy player this year. So I had an ADP of 28.6. Definitely really good value for him. He's definitely someone who's a very, very safe pick. And he's playing on the top line with Shifley and Ehlers. A very, very good line. And I think Connor's going to have himself another really, really solid season. Definitely a really good safe pick where he's currently going in drafts. Next, I have Nikolai Ehlers, who looks like he didn't have that great of a year last year, scoring only 55 points, but he only played in 62 games. So overall, he ended up as the 46th best fantasy player in terms of fantasy points per game. So definitely someone who's going uh, quite late, considering that last year he finished in the top 50 and is going at ADP of 63. And this year, he's playing on the top line with Kyle Connor. Oh boy, that is definitely great deployment for Nikolai Ehlers, and I think he's someone that's very, very good value where he's currently going in drafts. I absolutely love drafting him this year. And then I have Connor Hellbuck, who's definitely a really safe goaltender choice this year, especially in points-based leagues that have saves. Connor Hellbuck gets a lot of shots against him, so if you get points for each individual save in your league, Connor Hellbuck is definitely someone who you should consider drafting. He's going pretty late in drafts, everything considered, and he is one of the best goaltenders in the league. No matter what people say, he's still one of the top few goalies in the league. Definitely someone that I like picking, especially in those points-based leagues. Next, I have PLD, Pierre-Luc Dubois, who scored 60 points in 81 games last year. Shot the puck a nice amount and even had a nice amount of hits, so he's definitely someone who will give you a safe floor. And I would draft him in this range if you are in a league that counts hits. Now, he ended up finishing as the 92nd best player, and he is going to be playing with Blake Wheeler this year and Cole Perfetti. So it's not the greatest line mates in the entire world, but I still think Dubois is someone who's going to put up some solid stats this year and is definitely worth drafting at this range. The next guy on this list, Mark Scheifele, was over a point per game last year with 70 points in 67 games. And he's someone that's getting a really nice upgrade in line mates. Instead of playing with Blake Wheeler, he's with Connor and Ehlers. Oh my goodness, Shifley's in line for a really good year. He finishes the 74th best fantasy player last year in terms of fantasy points per game. And his ADP is about double that with 133.6 ADP right now. So Shifley's one of the biggest steals in drafts, in my opinion. Now, obviously... His shooting percentage was a little bit high. So that's going to come down a little bit. But Mark Shifley is still going to have another really nice season. Don't listen to your league mates and your friends who are like, oh, Mark Shifley, yeah, the king of empty net goals. Yeah, that might have been true in the past. Mark Shifley scored zero empty net goals last year and still managed to pot in 29 goals. So don't listen to those people. Shifley is definitely still good as a player. He's super underrated somehow. And I think he's going to have himself a really nice year this year playing on that line. Next, I have Neil Pionk, who had himself a pretty rough season last year with only 34 points in 77 games. Finished the 198th best fantasy player in terms of fantasy points per game in leagues that count hits. And the dude hits a lot. So if you're in a league that doesn't count hits, he was really, really bad last year. Now... I think that that's going to change this year under Rick Bonus. I think he's really going to give Pionk every single opportunity to succeed. I think Pionk is going to man probably the top power play or the second power play, probably the second power play. But even then, I still think he's going to have a nice bounce back year. The Jets are going to deploy a pretty decent PP2. And I think Pionk is someone that could put up points without necessarily depending too much on the power play. I actually really like Pionk this year in leagues that count hits. 
In leagues that don't count hits, though, there's not enough of a floor there for me to really be too high on drafting him this year outside of the deepest, deepest rounds of your draft. Next is Blake Wheeler, and man, so many people like to hate on this guy, but he had 60 points in 65 games last year with a pretty low shooting percentage. And yeah, this year he gets a little bit of a downgrade in centers. He's not with Shifley anymore. He's with Pierre-Luc Dubois. And he, instead of being with better wingers, he's with Cole Perfetti. But obviously Cole Perfetti could end up being really, really good this year. And Blake Wheeler is no slouch himself, as you just saw with that point production. Like, I'm not too worried about Blake Wheeler this year. Last year he finished as the 95th best fantasy player in terms of fantasy points per game. And this year he's going at 167 ADP. He's definitely going really, really late in drafts, which makes him really not a risky pick. And he's someone that could definitely return top 100 value once again this year. So he's someone that I do like picking this late in drafts. Then I have Josh Morrissey, who's someone that I really do like in hitting league. He scored 37 points in 79 games, gets the top power play time, which is really nice for that floor for those points. And the floor is even helped even more by the fact that he hits a lot and he blocks a decent amount of shots. So those peripherals will all automatically give him a safe floor night in and night out. Now, he finished as the 168th best fantasy player last year in terms of fantasy points per game. So he's going to return his ADP in value if you are in a hitting league. If you're in a league that doesn't have hits, he's probably not going to return his ADP. But this late in the draft, there may not be anyone that's much better than Josh Morrissey that you can grab that really has that same upside playing on that top power play in Winnipeg. Then I have Cole Perfetti, who is going to be trying to compete for that Calder Trophy this year in Winnipeg. Last year, he only played 18 games and scored 7 points, which isn't too, too bad. And obviously, he probably would have played a lot more games had he not gotten injured last year. So that was a little bit concerning, but hopefully this year he can stay healthy. He's young enough where he should be able to stay healthy. And I think he's going to contend for the Calder Trophy. I don't think he's going to win it, but I think he's going to do well enough that he's definitely an honorable mention for the trophy. He's playing on the second line with Wheeler and with Pierre-Luc Dubois, which is definitely some pretty solid line mates. And he's actually lined up right now on the left wing. Right now on Yahoo, he has center and right wing eligibility. And if he starts the season on the left wing, he can gain that eligibility really quickly and become one of the first players this year to get a triple eligibility center, left wing, right wing, which is obviously super, super valuable. And if he's also producing, he's someone that could be very, very valuable for your team. If you want to throw a dart with your last pick of the draft at Cole Perfetti, I definitely don't mind doing that. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching all the way through. If you have any questions about anybody else on the Jets, like Dellen or Schmidt, they're not people that I'm considering drafting right now, but they could be streamers later on in the season. Thanks so much for sticking with me, guys, throughout this series of episodes and through my preseason content. The next time you see my face will be in my very first waiver wire video for the first week of the season. I'm very excited that the season is finally going to start and I'll catch you guys in the regular season for the next episode of Fancy Tech.